you and welcome back to Tiffany Talks Tarot. This is a series of 22 little videos, each one dedicated to each of the cards in the Major Arcana, very much for understanding their symbology and therefore learning how to connect with them one to one rather than reading meanings from a book and very much about learning how to understand the rhythms and the energies that are in your life more than just in sense of prediction so in a way we're bringing tarot alive to the next level and we're making it a much more alive thing to work with rather than just cards okay so now we're going to look at the hanged man you may have realized we you know we spoke about the wheel a couple of videos ago about how that was the end of a cycle and how we was also the beginning of a new one and that this cycle has been getting much more spiritual what with justice as the last card and now we are on the hangman before that the cycle was very much about him learning and developing himself in terms of the world this is getting deeper now so the hanged man we see here is a very strange and peculiar looking card a man hanging by his ankle with his hands tied behind his back with a halo round his head which seems to show that he doesn't really mind now this might make us think a little bit of jesus um except jesus was hung the other way up on a cross however you know there is this energy of uh, the great spiritual teachers in the hanged man card it's not just jesus we're also seeing why, why it might be upside down is uh, Odin who hung himself on the world tree. He was the Norse god and he plunged his head into the underworld to spread consciousness throughout the world. So a bit like Jesus in a sense, you know, he sacrificed himself. That was his mission. That was his duty. That was his purpose to spread consciousness throughout the world. He did a good job. You know, we still have that rippling through today and um, so you know we have a lot here to do with that we even have Buddha believe it or not in a way because although he didn't sacrifice himself he sacrificed his worldly possessions and he went and hung out under the Bodhi tree for enlightenment so there's a lot here to do with uh, uh, trees <laughs> and maybe we shouldn't be laughing at the tree hugging hippies after all maybe they're onto something that we don't really know about. Is there something here that we're not getting? There often is in the hangman card. What is it you are hung up on that you are not able to let go of? This is what the hangman is asking you. And it's a sense of, it, it's quite a slow process. Don't expect to go, aha, yeah, I've got it. And it's easy. It's a sense of real deep reflection and journeying to really get to that place of going, oh yeah, that's what I'm hung up on. That's what I need to let go of. That's what I need to get out of the way of. Then you can cut yourself down from the tree and move on. So the uh, hanged man is Pisces or Neptune and that is very much known as the most spiritual sign in a way. It doesn't mean that every Pisces is the most spiritual sign uh, or person. It just means that they are learning very much about that aspect and uh, it can mean that they are an older soul. It can mean that they have gone through quite a lot of evolution. Usually Pisces may want to escape. They may want to escape into drugs or just escape the harsh realities of the world. That's what can pull them down, that, that wanting to escape. Whereas if they can go higher and get into that evolution and that spirituality, maybe in a more Bodhisattva way. Bodhisattvas are Buddhas that reached enlightenment and stay behind until the whole of humanity reach enlightenment. Yeah, it's about really getting to that place. Okay, <laughs> here's to the Bodhisattva in you. And um, I look forward to seeing you at the next one, which is death. And that's not surprising what happened after Jesus hung on the cross or Odin plunged his head into the underworld. Mm? Death 
you have to let go of something. You know, you have to let go of the old you for the new you to come in. Anyway, we'll talk about that next. And uh, please do see my website, tiffanycrisara.com, if you would like to learn more with me. Take care for now.